Lisa and this skinny woman with a hooked nose olive oils into the shoe store and says, I want something to make me look sexy. So I say, you'll have to wait a long time before someone that ugly comes in and stand next to you. It's blue. Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on Patreon. It's only five dollars a month and you get an extra video every week. White women have the balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? I mean, these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Put your Today I'm going to be reacting to a compilation from Married with Children called How Was Your Day? Woman clip clopped into the shoe store today. <laughs> and said, I need something I'd be comfortable in. I said, try Wyoming. Mm. Oh. <laughs> now, I don't know when they started letting women carry chainsaws. You know that new aerobic center up above me? The one with the sign, quarter ton discount? <laughs> well, today they played Van Halen's Jump. <laughs> and damned if the whole herd didn't. It was awful. The ceiling opened up, down they came. Block it out of the sun. Oh, gosh. I experienced cellulite winter. A fat woman got Zillas into the shoe store today. <laughs> asked for something she could wear to walk in the woods. Jokingly, I suggest she wear a sign that says, Don't shoot from the front, I look human. <laughs> Customer comes in the store today. Oh, my gosh. Tall, willowy brunette. Sits down. Says she'd like to try on a pair of size 12 pumps. So I'm down there, you know, just doing my job. And... <laughs> Notice she's wearing a garter belt like I like. Um. And a nice pair of silk stockings. Yeah. Yeah. All the time she's smiling at me, all of a sudden, she uncrosses her legs like in Basic Instinct. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it was a guy! <laughs> First thing Did you not expect that. when you're a rookie shoe salesman is when you got a fat one in the chair, never look up. <laughs> I looked up, Peg. I saw underwear. <laughs> it said Saturday. <laughs> what? So what? Today's Wednesday! customer comes into the diner and he asks for the Norwegian salmon. Then he wants to know if it's fresh. I said, hey, chucklehead, this is Chicago. This is not Norwegia, okay? Wow. Nothing is fresh. Well, I shouldn't say nothing. I hate Christmas. Nice. The mall is full of nothing but women and children. All you hear is, I want this, get me this, I have to have this. And there's the children. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and they're all by my store, because they stuck the mall Santa right outside, ringing a stupid bell. As if you need a bell to notice a 300-pound alcoholic in a red suit. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> ho, 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 all day long. So nice as can be, I go outside, ask him to shut the hell up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he takes a swing at me. So I lay a hook into his fat belly and he goes down. <laughs> Beard comes off, all the kids start crying, and I'm the bad guy. How has he not gotten inspired? <laughs> and she is so fat. He's really funny, but these stories are crazy. Like, I wonder, since I've never seen the show, if there's constant scenarios of where he gets fired. Maybe he has a really good relationship with his boss and he just doesn't want to fire him. But maybe it's because it doesn't really sound like anybody wants his job. I mean, he doesn't even sound like he wants his own job. So maybe it's just, you know, replacing somebody is a lot harder than just keeping them. So maybe that's the scenario. But... It's so funny how rude he is to customers, how much he hates his job, how much he hates people at his job, and just everything. Honestly, this was actually one of the first moments that I felt like he was having some type of story that seemed a little bit positive. At least something that seemed like he was expressing it in a positive way. There was this attractive brunette, she even had a garter belt, which I like, she had silk stockings, so I was like, wow, I've never heard him, you know, happy or passionate about anything. And then, um, he can't catch a break because... She uncrossed her legs, and I guess he said it was he, it was a man. And she is so fat, she actually has three smaller women orbiting around her. 
And she actually probably did because, like, I'm women go. I'm trying to force a pair of size 13 shoes on her Jurassic feet. <laughs> when she says to me that her husband just left her. Ah, the plot thins. <laughs> so, and the skinny woman with a hooked nose olive oils into the shoe store and says, I want something to make me look sexy. So I say, you'll have to wait a long time before someone that ugly comes in to stand next to you. <laughs> Excuse me, boy. Now, I don't know when they started letting women carry nunchucks. A fat woman hedgehogged her way into the shoe store. Hedgehogged? <laughs> what? I got to tell you about my day. Oh, that was it. I had to give a driving test to a woman who was so fat, they had to shoot a driver's license photo with the Hubble telescope. Oh my gosh, father like son. Son, listen to me. I don't have time for one of your shaggy fat woman stories. <laughs> Ask me right. how much I hate Halloween. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> well, they make all us employees put on these costumes like some woman's gonna say, gee, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna buy any shoes today. <laughs> but since I see you in a dinosaur costume, I will. Exactly. <laughs> and of course, the ride home from work wouldn't have been so bad if the kids had actually got gas instead of painting the needle on the gauge full. <laughs> ah, home sweet help. <laughs> His tongue sticking out? So then, oh. this woman comes in. Oh my god. Who doesn't speak English? She points at the shoes, I point at the door. She points at the sky, and knees me in the nay nays. That woman comes to the gate today. Her moo moo covering what must have been three or four heinies. Gosh, they're all the same. Now she could exit through a little itsy bitsy turnstile or a huge gate. Guess which one she chooses. <laughs> a line was forming. So I had to do something. So I got a tub of butter from the Delta Burke Let's Get Big exhibit. <laughs> and oiled her up. Oh. A woman comes in the shoe store They're today. They're all the so same. Huge, she's protected by green. This people. entire family is the same. It's like crazy. Ex except I think the mother. The mother seems like, I don't know, she could possibly be the cause the innocent bystander she's there but i haven't necessarily seen her speak in the same way these children though are a spitting image of their father uh they address situations the exact same way and um they have the same sense of humor also i thought it was just the first compilation that i watched that seemed a little bit more jokes towards particularly large women um, but now that I'm just watching, I think this is supposed to be a regular compilation, I'm starting to get the vibe that that's actually just kind of the running joke that they always go to. I mean, even the kids are going to that joke. So I think it's just the main vibe of the show to make a lot of those jokes, like about fat women. So I can already imagine in today's times, this is definitely probably the enemy of a lot of those support body positivity groups where you can't really say stuff like that anymore. But shows that were also made differently back then and since the humor has unfortunately changed, I would say unfortunately only because less things are apparently appropriate whereas I do like back in the day you can make jokes about all sorts of things because jokes are jokes. She comes in the shoe store today so huge she's protected by Greenpeace <laughs> and asks for a size 4 shoe. Oh my god. <laughs> What's with his face? So, I ask her if she wants to eat them there or take them home. And she has the nerve to complain about my performance. A fat woman sloshed into the shoe store today. Sloshed? Said she was retaining water. I said not to worry about it. The dam of cellulite holding it back should keep us all high and dry for the two years. Now, I don't know when they started letting women carry stun guns. Why am I early on what used to be my bowling night? Good question. Thank you for asking. Well, as I entered the bowling alley, ready for no an exciting did. night of bonding, brewskis, and barfing, what did I see? Women, bowling, overhand. Overhand? So naturally, I went up to one of these donut depositories and said in my nicest voice, wedge it out the door, beefalo, it's my night to bowl. <laughs> Anyway, when I regained consciousness in a burning trash can, I realized A, Thursday nights is now ladies' night, and B, you don't want to know how a bum puts out a trash can fire. Oh my gosh. A fat woman creatured her way into the shoe store today. Creatured her way? What happened today at the shoe store? Did a fat woman come in? 
enormous. <laughs> I, I don't even know the dynamic fully, but I felt like he enjoyed being able to just respond to that so much more than he probably should have. Enormous. Like, he's... He's so miserable at his work that he's starting to get some type of like the only happiness or something that he likes or comfort in is complaining about how miserable he is. And I think that there's probably a joy in that. I do actually really like this. I, I feel like I'm starting to actually find Al Bundy and even the show itself kind of funny. I didn't grow up to a lot of sitcoms. I only grew up to like really one or two of them being kind of special to me. And um, I think that this one's really funny and really different. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did too. If you haven't already, please go check out all my links down below, my TikTok, my Instagram, and my Patreon, which is only $5. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.